Good morning. Uh, my name is Brandon Luters. I am the TA for class here at MIT in uh, Core 16, which is Aero Astro. Uh, the name of the course is Feedback Control Systems. Uh, it's designed to be an intro level grad course to control theory, state space systems, that kind of thing. Um, and so you can see that this is actually interfacing with the um, National Instruments hardware. And then on the machine here, uh, LabVIEW is actually running a real time interface. So uh, this, is, this is the main VI from which we can actually control the vehicle. Um, the really nice thing about this VI is that it actually runs both in simulation and in real time. Um, so if you go and look at the block diagram that's running this VI, uh, you can see over here there's a case statement block. Uh, right now it's actually in sim mode, that's what the false means. Uh, you can see that there's a, a model of the quantum dynamics in here. Um, you can actually open it up and see it's essentially just a, you know, a state space model we've come up with that approximates the dynamics of the quantum. Um, but, I mean, just by simply just toggling this to true, now we're essentially running it in real time mode where you can see that the uh, this is really, you know, for this class, it's been really helpful because it's the kind of thing where I can say, um, you know, until you can show this is working in the sim model, I mean, this is the, the software you need to actually run on the hardware. So if you can't show this working on the sim model, it's probably not going to work on the hardware. Um, so then what they're doing in this lab is adding an outer loop on travel controller. Uh, and so the output of the travel controller is the roll command, which then gets fed into the roll controller. Right, so this is this is the the dynamics for the system entered symbolically. So, you know, what we leave to them is that then they can go and put in the parameters that correspond to what they're trying to test. But if they actually wanted to go in and design a different plant entirely, um, then all they have to do is just go into this node, uh, change those matrices, and then whatever the system pitch is um, that exits the node Great. will be what's used for the LQRs. So right now, Brandon is just adding some external disturbance. So, so one of the things that we, with Andy's help, we recently developed was um, what we've been calling an autopilot. So rather than me having to sit there and uh, punch in specific reference pitches and travels, what we want to say instead is, I want to actually give you ahead of time the waypoints I want you to hit in travel and pitch, and then you know let it figure out what to do from there. So that it slowly lifts off the table, um, travels 90 degrees in one direction, come back, and, and then lands. Uh, all without me having to do anything except hit go. Switch to hardware. Okay, so now you can see that uh, the first command was just to have it pitch up. So you can actually see that without anyone touching it, the pitch reference is increasing to minus 15 degrees. It's going to hold there for a few seconds. Uh, then it's going to keep increasing up to zero. So now what it's going to be do is give a travel command, so it's going to do the rotation and then come back. Okay, making the return trip. And you can see that the travel angle is tracking it very nicely. So now it's back to where it started, and now it's just going to very slowly come in for a landing and pitch.